Of course, Boeing is the story of the morning, uh, Jim. 617 days uh, on the ground. You got Baird going to outperform with a 306 target today. And I guess we'll talk once again about not only how they get this back in the air, American will launch it on the 29th of December, but how they market it to consumers. Look, I think that there is a uh, tragedy timeline. Uh, we had it with Chipotle. We had it with uh, a long, long time ago with Jack in the Box, had it with Taco Bell, which is that people begin to forget. Now, I know the media doesn't forget, but the individual uh, who flies is thinking, well, I want to take Southwest or I want to take American. They're not going to ask, as they would have a year ago, is this the Max? And then I think also Boeing eventually can phase out the name Max. It's a well-tested plane. Uh, I know that there are people who say that they'll never want to be on it, but if they want to travel, they're going to be on it. And I think that there's a lot of demand. And I do think that with we couple this with the vaccine news, you start saying, you know what? Let me go book something. I want to go somewhere. We don't say, you know what? I want to book something. But, geez, is that going to be the max? Because they're, they're, people just aren't that discerning. I mean, David, the, the average time that people think about something that's a tragedy may not be as, as, as uh, long as we think, even dating back to 9-11. That's true. I think, yeah, while well, these days in particular, our memories, I don't know, they tend to, there's so much coming at you, you tend to forget what happened yesterday, let alone That's a good point. the tragedies that happened well over a year ago. But certainly I can remember those peaceful days when we would lead the show every day with the travails of the Max. Uh, long before the pandemic, of course, Boeing was suffering from the fact that it had been removed from service and the continued questions as to when it would be potentially at least uh, OK to go back into service. Jim, so much has happened since then for the company, not the least of which, of course, is the dramatic diminution of air travel worldwide and continued questions even when we get back to so-called normal of what the business traveler is going to really look like and what that's going to mean for demand for Boeing's Jets. Company started, by the way, it's, uh, you know, before the max, they had 15 billion in debt before the max problems. Now they have 63 billion. Well, look, I think the bottom really came when they did that Sunday night offering. Yeah, 26 billion. Uh, 26 billion, which was a lot of people felt uh, uh, could not be done. I think that I'm going to credit I'm going to credit Jay Powell for that. Now, I remember that. In fact, I think I was first to report on that. And uh, that was a big moment overall. I mean, the bond market giveth and saveth. Right. I mean, people don't understand that the bond market is behind even the Carnival Cruises. I see Norwegian offering a lot of stock. I mean, look, everybody's got to offer stock who's in travel because people stop traveling. And Carl, it, look, it's going to take a little bit of time before, before people just say, you know what, I got to hop on a plane. But I think it's obvious that they're hopping. Now, and uh, Gary Kelly, who just famously came on the show and said, well, you got to have someplace to go, might find that there are places to go. Yes, you can't. You're not going to Milan. Uh, it, it, Paris is off the table. But I, I Where are I'm, you going, Jim? Actually, where am I going? Yeah, I'm curious about that. Are you going anywhere in the United States? Uh, Florida. Florida? Yeah, my wife's moving to Florida. Okay. Yeah, I was just looking at their, the COVID cases there. Only 7,459. 7, what, this morning? Uh, yesterday. 20% yesterday? 70 oh, average not positivity rate. But is that, that's pretty good, right? It's Seven, twenty percent? No, I mean California's five. But yeah, no, but I mean, don't, I mean, there's some people in the country who clearly are trying to get the highest score. I call them the COVID sniffers. There are people who actually believe that nothing works except for getting it. Now, and that if you get it over sixty-five and you die, well, you know what? That's your problem. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.